There we go. <laughs> now it switches on me. Hello, hello. Welcome to Coffee Craft with your host, Anon Jr. And, uh, hello again. Behind us, you can see that we've made some progress on our little village rehab project. Uh, I finally got around to starting the wall a little bit. We'll drift down this way. And, of course, it's getting ready to be nighttime. So... We've uh, dressed up the gate that we built last week a little bit and uh, got it a little more textured, a little more decorated. Started putting in the walls and this definitely looks like the pattern we're going to go with. So we'll get some broken stone, some cracked stone, some mossy stone and uh, sections of the chain link sort with uh, the wooden posts and the nice little gentle contours of the top there. And uh, let me nap real quick because, of course, <laughs> of course, oh, let me unmute Discord, say hello to Ray Est and Arcadius. Hello. So, while we were working on the wall in the off time between last week and this, we made an interesting discussion. Or discussion. Uh, discovery, which I'll get to in just a second because I want to show off some of Rayest's handiwork over here. Now, I think the fountain was done last week. And uh, Rayest has finished the first of the uh, houses. Oh. Eh, mostly finished. It's not decorated yet. Well, I mean, yeah, there's still some interior work to be done, but still. Look at that. That is beautiful. And you'll notice we have no more random blocks and torches out here because I finally got to uh, moving these guys in here. There's a little half slab to keep them from running out just in case they escape their uh, mine carts. <laughs> and to keep uh, pillagers from running in in case they break down the door. Um, although pillagers actually work the door which kind of terrifies me a little bit. And I did a little bit of work, because if you remember when we were working on the villager trading hall, I mentioned that I was trying to figure out a way to, to get these guys from uh, picking the wrong profession block. So that way, you know, this guy over here wouldn't grab that guy's profession block and that sort of thing. And turns out that the double carpet trick does seem to work very nicely. So basically... You dig a block down, you put a carpet there and a carpet on top of that, and it looks like a regular carpet on the floor. And for whatever reason, these guys don't pathfind over it to blocks. So we could actually move these in front and they wouldn't pathfind. Um, which I had originally done, as you can tell by the carpet layout, until I realized that narrowing this hallway down to one block wide was... We'll call it frustrating. Frustrating works. <laughs> and, uh... So, still some interior work to be done. Rest is going to be working on that over time. We've got the seven villagers that remained from the original village that was here. Uh, a couple of... Most of them were locked into their profession, so a lot of these guys are the bog-standard... Uh, old school version of their profession, except for this guy who has no job. Because there's one in every village, right? No. Uh, we'll, we're, we haven't figured out what we're going to assign him to yet. And this guy, because having a mason handy is always nice. Um, especially when you want to, you know, get rid of some of that diorite and a few other things. Uh, I was kind of hoping to get him up to quartz, but um, I, I got sidetracked by some other things. Oh, and this nice little trade right here. The clay for emerald and then the emerald back to brick. That is a beautiful way to get some brick without having to go through the time of actually cooking it. And since brick is one of our primary things, that's uh, it's really nice to have. All right, all that's out the way. Let's head over here to this lovely little discovery tucked in the corner. As we get and lose our speed bump. I leveled out a little bit of the terrain over here. I filled in the water that was originally here to give us more buildable space to work with. And 
this one? No, it's the other one. We got a bunch of caves and things in here that we're going to have to, uh, at a minimum, light up. Um, ah, here we go. Down here a little ways, and it's deeper than I thought it was, so that might change a few things. We got us a little zombie spawner. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a zombie farm because I'm tired of having to run away from the village to repair tools. And since we found this guy, we might as well use him, right? Uh, I am basing the, the, the bulk of the design around a video by Il Mango. Uh, as soon as we get a little AFKable area and that sort of stuff, I'll post a little sign with the YouTube link. And I will make sure to include that in the description down below on uh, the YouTube archive and, and on the uh, the summary that the Twitch video archive has. Um, so, with all that said and done, I, I gotta rethink the depth a little bit. I thought that was a little bit closer to the surface than it was, and I was gonna try to get the floor where you do the killing up here, but I gotta measure and make sure that the spawner is still 16 blocks away if we are standing up here. And I think it is only because um, I, the whole reason why I found that is clinging out of this area, I kept hearing zombies over there and they were just out of reach and I was like, what, what's over here? Oh, oh, there we go. All right, so. First things first, um, I'm going to redo the lighting so I've got a little more room to work with and some better measurements to work with. I've got some boxes and other random, random, <laughs> random randomness. I'm going to build the chamber out of polished diorite because we don't use diorite much except maybe as a uh, accent block. And so we've got a bunch of it. And I want something that will easily signal when we're digging. Oh yeah, there's something down here. And polished, uh, polished fancy stones do the job. Do the job. And we got some andersite as well, just in case. Ooh, not much. Uh, and I'm just about out of space in that random project box. So guess what? The andersite box gets uh, gets to be my supplementary project box. Alright. I guess I don't need that extra stack. <laughs> Eventually we'll get a uh, rail line out this way. So first things first, we're going to redo a little bit of the lighting in here, partly for measurement and partly for some stuff that will become readily apparent in a little bit. Uh, we're going to move those right there, so we should now be able to get rid of these torches, because there's stuff that's going to have to go in a couple of these places. And... Okay, good. Just checking. With my luck, I'll have screwed it up on step one. Alright, so for now I need to find out where... If the floor, or where I wanted to put the floor, is still 16 blocks up. So I'm going to do something slightly stupid and dig straight up. Okay. Maybe not that straight up. Um, I've got scaffolding somewhere. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Actually, let me just go ahead and 14, 15, 16, uh, 15. Because if I need more than 15 scaffolding, then it's already higher than I want it. And I'll have to think of something different. Because the way the spawners work is they will start generating spawns, provided light levels and all the other conditions are met, which we'll get into as we go. Um, so long as 
you, the player, are within 16 blocks of the center of that spawner. Uh, so as long as you are 15 and a half blocks away from that little device right there, uh, you will get... Those are going somewhere, aren't they? Yeah. I'm still struggling with scaffolding. There's supposed to be a way to do this from underneath, but I haven't quite mastered that one. It might be okay. Alright, so. That is one, and 15 more scaffolding puts us at 16. And we should still see flames around that thing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's further away than I thought, too. Uh, so we're going to have to do a little bit more landscaping. Lovely. Yeah. A bunch of this hill is going to have to go away. That's okay. We can definitely get the height we're looking for. Matter of fact, we can take this down to this level here. That'll put us a little bit closer to the spawner. And, uh... We should look out very nicely. Very nicely. Uh... Somebody should probably sleep, too. Hello, medic. Arcadius, where you at? Standing right behind you. That wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> as we all run for the one bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning, Mr. Medic. Um, do be careful. Because I just realized that with those villagers having profession blocks, uh, yeah, I know, everybody running <laughs> for the same spot. Um, with, with those villagers having profession blocks, I don't know if that counts as a village now for purposes of triggering a raid. Um, I really want to get rid of their profession blocks just to be on the safe side, but on the other hand, um, the mason and the cleric are really nice to have handy. Uh, the mason, or because, well, uh, brick. <laughs> and the cleric because we accumulate a fair amount of zombie flesh as we go. And we're about to accumulate more. But I... Depending on who you listen to, some of them, some of them seem to imply that they need the bed as well to count as a village. But I'm watching some raid farm videos, and they all seem to have a perfectly raidable village without a bed. So, uh, fair warning when the next patrol comes. And I say when the next patrol comes, because I, I do see a regular patrol head this way. Yeah, there seems to be two spawn points out here. One on the... Uh side over there by the beach on the other side of the two houses and yeah. one appears to be right over here with our turtle friends where you're standing uh, hope, yeah I, I think it's a little bit closer to where we set up the post because they, they seem to come from over over where I'm standing right now somewhere in this general vicinity uh, hopefully they'll be just outside the wall and uh, player-placed lighting will prevent the random patrols from spawning. So as long as we make sure that we uh, light this place up. Which, uh, now that I've said that, I am sure Reyest will make sure this place is well and truly lit. I can do that. That didn't sound ominous at all. Nope. Not even a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so you're starting on the um, business buildings for all the different professions? Yeah, this was supposed to be like a trading stand. I thought we were building those around the uh, fountain, no? I am at the farm. Oh. Oh, you must Here. be just over the, uh, just over the edge. Yeah, we're on the other side of the big house. Ah. And that is a big house. 
<laughs> the big house. <laughs> I, I mean, we were just referring to this as Rehab Village earlier, so, you know, we got the big house and Rehab Village. Uh. <laughs> Those might not be connotations we want to give these poor villagers. <laughs> How big a staple do we need? Um, I would say three or four horses. Because I... Okay. There, there's at least two-ish in the area. And I'll probably grab them just to have them handy, even though we are not likely to, to take care of that. But it'd be nice to have a couple of horses handy. And I'm sure a couple of wandering traders will donate a few more uh, llamas before before we're done over here. That's very possible. I'd figure out what the rest I want to do with this building is. Which one? The the one that you started with the Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to do this clearing out. Because for some reason I thought the spawner was already closer over here. I really should have checked that before I uh I was thinking about it yesterday. I was so focused on getting the other materials ready and checking on a couple of different videos. Um, yeah, learned a lot about spawners by watching a bunch of different videos talking about the, the algorithms and how they work. And I highly, highly recommend that when you guys work on projects, not you, you guys, the people watching, I mean... You too as well, but you're just going to look at me and go, uh, some, some redstone is needed over there, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong for that, am I? Mm -mm. Not even a little. Alright, so, that is the center of the mob spawner, and if you look down, we can see that, oh yeah, those flames mean that the spawner is active. So, uh, we are triggering it by standing here. Uh, what do I... I Alright. Uh, I think I'm going to want to push that back a little bit more. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four. There's going to be a wall. Yeah. And I think this hill will just uh, run up right alongside the building I build. Which means that wall is going to have to come out further than we originally intended. Oh, for shame. That kind of makes things a little bit easier anyway. And I still got to figure out how I want to wall off this bay. But that'll be a project for a little bit later. So this is going to be the floor. Going one, two, three, four. Going to be a wall. Um, yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two. Lift, lift. Not Uber. Oh wait, not that lift either. chamber is going to need to be set up with this roof just a little bit lower. Actually, yeah, just a smidge lower. And these walls are going to need to go out because this spawner is going to look for a space in a 9x9x4 grid. So that means... Nine blocks wide, nine blocks long, four blocks high, uh, with the height being calculated two blocks above the spawner, one block below the spawner. 
Um, so that means if we push this out, one, two, and then three, and then four. We'll knock that wall that far back. And then do the same on all the other walls. We'll have the width and length taken care of. And we'll dig this down a few more blocks in just a minute. I want to get some of the roofing stuff done first. And actually, I don't need the scaffolding running up there right now. We'll need the scaffolding, but I don't need it running up there right now. So that's one, two, three, four, and that's going to be a wall. One, two, three, and I just need to knock the cobblestone off on that side. Two, three, four. And we're going to go one, two, three. And oh! Oh, interesting. Okay, speaking of those caves that we needed to find, look, I found caves. <laughs> All right, so we'll just have to be really careful when working with that. And it looks like somebody already started coming through with torches. Nice. Gonna have to fish some of that Oof. iron out, though. They're torches, so you can guess who did that and who didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm not gonna touch that one with a ten foot pole. <laughs> All right, that's where my bubble elevator is gonna go. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the AFK spot right where that hole is. We're going to have water streams pushing them back that away. Bring them up, drop them down about 23-ish blocks. So that way they take a fair amount of fall damage and soften them up. And I also need to build a storage system up there. But first, stop getting distracted by all the other stuff. We got that four blocks out, that four blocks out, that four blocks out. So we need to go one, two, three, four. Why right? Yeah, I get that way. Now, when you see a lot of the videos for these types of farm designs, You'll see a lot of people just throw a half slab or a couple of blocks on top of the spawner and then the ceiling and then they call it done. Um, you can do that. And those farms are all based off of the idea that typically mob spawning happens in the center of the block. So uh, it looks like you're only removing one potential spawn point out of an 8 by 8 by 4 cube. Uh, so that's like, what, 240-something blocks-ish? Plus or minus? Math. Um, but with the spawners... They don't always spawn them right in the middle of the block like the normal spawning algorithm. So that means that if you do this, like most of the, most of the farm designs do, and a mob tries to spawn here on the edge between this block and the next one, it'll fail, which will cause the the um, number of monsters created to. Uh, to decrease so you'll get a uh, less less mobs for your work so what we want to do is we want to actually build a fun little system that is going to trigger when a mob stands on top of this and push them off with some water 
into the pit that we're going to dig after we get this built because I don't want to dig a pit and then have to pillar up to build this. That, that seems less than helpful. Because, um, yeah, if you do nothing, if you just leave the mob spawner like that, the mobs will spawn on this block and they'll stand there. And if enough of them collect, no more will spawn because you'll hit the spawner cap, which I believe is 16, 16 mobs. Sunk to the tune of 16 candles. No, I will not do that for you. I'm too kind. <laughs> Let me go get some of the polished diorite. We'll get some of the walls and the roof where we want it. And... Dump all this off. Oh, I still want to hang on to that. I just need to get rid of... Get that out of my inventory for the moment. Let's not run around with the ender pearl in our hand either. Oh, there's the sea lanterns. I thought I was going to need them. <laughs> okay. All right, let's grab some polished diorite. Because, I mean, no, nobody's going to see the inside of this chamber. I just, I need something that is going to clearly demarcate. Do stop digging. <laughs> Please stop digging. Get this wall going. Alright, so that's going to be there. I'm going to leave two above, which means the ceiling is going to go there. Yeah, so I'm going to have to push this up a little bit in a couple of spots, but... That's not a big deal. I mean, putting it in the wrong place is a big deal, but... Okay, yeah. Don't worry, don't mind me. I'm just going to be paranoid about doing this wrong live on air in front of everybody. Because that's who I am. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Gotta be perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. I have no clue what I want to do with the roof of this house. Gonna make sure the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Fire tick is off. Wait, that doesn't quite have the same cadence. No, not really. There. Two, four. Two, four. Arcadius built the zombie farm that we had, uh, that we've got over at the, outside my base over in the main area. So this time I wanted to try my hand at it. Because why not? I haven't built one yet. Matter of fact, I don't think we had a mob farm like this on the server we did before we started Coffee Craft. I don't remember. Uh, we didn't. I mean, we had a we had a mob grinder, but it was more of the variety like I have at my base, where we just made a dark chamber somewhere, and uh, and they dropped. We didn't have a spawner-based farm like what we're setting. I feel up like here. that was forever ago. Yeah, that that does <laughs> feel like a little while ago. I mean, it was. It was what a year ago. Better than a year Four ago. Year. Been on this server for 
because uh, this we started when 1.13 came out. And that was, yeah, that was over a year ago. There's my walls. Now. Honor one, two. Arcadia, should you buy? I'm right here. I love right there. Where is it? <laughs> By the vine farm. Here is there. There is here. And neither here nor there shall we be. Or something. I don't know. Tell me how weird this roof layout looks. It looks weird. Thank you. I try. Oh no, that won't work. Oh. Hmm. Watch out for the hole. of things from back in my box. I need the trap door. I need the bucket of water. I need some redstone, the string, and two tripwire hooks. And the gates. And a little bit of luck. Or a better memory. I'll take either one. Good luck. Alright. Oh, I should be able to waterlog that. There we go. I mean, except for the part where I washed away that one torch. Put that there. Okay, so that part is actually good to go. What I need to do now is run... Uh-oh. What's that giggle for? I can barely hear the stream over this loud snoring puppy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hear Jeff snoring too. Uh, I hear that. Is he snoring right now? Yes. yes. Do you how, how do you not hear that? I met your buds in. <laughs> Their noise canceling. Yeah. Okay. Props to that company cuz it works. <laughs> <laughs> that is loud. So, I need to put one there. Alright, I'm going to need to put... There. I got that right. Because the basic idea is an open fence gate will change the flow of the water. Actually, means I have those wrong. 
but will not prevent spawning. So just because these uh, fence gates are here, um, mobs will still spawn in those spaces when generated by a spawner. Yes, that is what I want. So mob, so those gates will not take up any space um, when the spawner is trying to determine if a critter can spawn, but it will keep that water set up so that way all it does is flow across the top of the spawner and push mobs off. So now I just need a trap hook there, a trap hook there. And some string. Maybe I should have done that before I put all the gates down. There we go. Beautiful. So now, when a mob spawns on top of here, the water's gonna come, push them off the edge, and down they go. And the nice, um, in El Mango's video, he actually tried to simplify this with an observer to trigger the trapdoor. But um, apparently, over time, it, uh, it uh, the short answer is it just didn't work right. Which I find kind of amazing. back in now unless something goes horribly horribly wrong I shouldn't have any need uh, to come back down in here I really wanted to fill that up though so we'll do it this way For now, since I know that's going to be the AFK spot. Well, I use the term AFK loosely because uh, we, we should not be AFKing at the spawner and taking a shower. That wasn't pointed towards any Arcadius in particular. <laughs> mob, mob cramming should fix any issue that would have come up. Uh, no, because we're actually going to design this so they won't cram. So we can get some, so we can get a little more XP at a go. It just means that you can't, uh, you know, load up the farm and walk away for, we'll call it a while. Generous. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> well, I'm going to stop right there before I start calling you out on stream for stuff. <laughs> yeah, before that happens. Box of TNT. It's gonna have your name on it soon. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I, I know how this goes. <laughs> I got boxes I got of boxes. TNT too. No. <laughs> how did I end up losing this? All right, I'm gonna need a lot more scaffolding in a minute. If I. Where would I have put the scaffolding to save myself? There we go. <laughs> All right, I can actually put... Oh, oh, no. Not that many boxes. Already lost track. Or <sighs> forget. Let me go ahead and fill that up again. Just in case. 
right, so that hole there is my target for where I want this to end up. But first, I need to clear this down. Um, yeah. Actually, that should take me down to that hole right there. So let me dig that hole. I'm going to put some scaffolding up. And then I can close that hole entirely off. Oop, dig in the right spot. There we go. So that's going to go up. I can now seal this side off. Fill this in. There's no point in keeping a random hole in the ground around. There goes the uh, village. I think I figured out what I'm doing with this house. And you want one of every type of villager? Of course. How's that a question? Just, you know, being mindful of professions. <laughs> of course I want one of each. That's going to be a fair number of profession blocks, too. You're like, I didn't say two of each. Two by two. But no hands. Hands of blue. blue. did you're joking but uh i did i ain't fixing it yeah i'm fixing it <laughs> i thought you just said you weren't fixing it who's gonna volunteer to sleep the volunteer stream reviews sleep in the real world, why would I sleep in the game? I'm just saying, if you don't sleep in the real world, why isn't that wall done? <laughs> oh, wow. We're just going there. there. Going okay. There. <laughs> Dang. Okay. That's happening. Okay. About to get real. Up and down, 
scaffold. I, I do like the uh, the scaffolding blocks. I like them sometimes. Sometimes they're mean. Sometimes. Sometimes they're very mean. was ominous. <laughs> I was not. No, no. Uh, ominous noise was ominous. Ah. Uh. Arcadia, since you're over here, what do you think of this roof height? I'm thinking I don't want to go the full pyramid because it'd make it, like, taller than the building. Maybe want to cut off flat at a certain point. Uh, that seems like a good idea. And that looks about accurate. Scaling wise. I like where it's at right now. Okay. Well, when it's complete. Uh, should I have raised up one more so that you can see the white all the way around the window? I should have, shouldn't I? It needs to be one taller. Yeah. It wants to be one taller. I would honestly think about pushing the whitewash back one so that the, the beams look like they're offset some. Why does this is Oh, that's right. Fence gates open in the direction that you open them. It's gonna go that way. Pillager raid. Uh, what? Where? Or patrol, sorry, not oh, raid. Jeez. I was like, wait, what? We, we got a raid? Uh, Where? In front of your mansion. Oh, you killed them all. that group. Really? Alright. That should be... Yes. Okay. So now we got that pushing in the right direction. Because that's going to push them towards the exit. Now we can get back to digging this thing out. That sounded like a very Canadian note. So we need right, four blocks left, right, and we need four, at least two, yeah, four blocks down. My only concern with this is I'm going to use a water elevator to push them up, and I'm kind of worried that they're going to end up turning into ground before we get to... Uh, before they get to us. In the grand scheme of things, I don't know that that really matters because uh, that's still gonna... The whole goal for this is the XP, not necessarily the drops, although uh, apparently a, a maximum efficiency zombie spawner will generate nine iron an hour. I, I just, I found that kind of amazing. Like, seriously? I mean, we were joking I mean, about that about beforehand. That. Like, well, why do we need the iron farm? We got the zombies spawner and we keep getting iron out of that. Like, uh. 
I mean, we're joking. With as much iron as we fed some of those guys to get emeralds. <laughs> oh, you'll, you'll trade iron for emeralds? I need emeralds and XP. Please give me both. <laughs> So technically, it is two blocks above, one block below. But I actually want to get this down one more, one more. Because I'm trying to remember the. Uh, Basically, we want to get mobs out of where the spawner is going to consider its cap for purposes of spawning more mobs. Uh, and since it looks in a 9x9x4, nine by nine by and we've got two, one, two blocks above it. Yeah, two blocks above it. The spawner itself is three, so one block below it would technically be four. And then, uh, one, two, three, four. So if we got this one and this one gone, that means that any mobs currently being pushed towards the exit theoretically should not. Oh, wait, no, it considers mobs in the area, so these caves are going to kill the spawn rate. Nah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in the fullness of time. Two, three. You know, I'm going to drop this down just one more. But first, I'm going to grab this stuff here. Because it's here. And I hate leaving stuff behind. It always irritates me when I see the videos and they left various ores and whatnot in the wall. Like, yeah, I know. You, you, you're too good for coal. You don't need it anymore. I, I got it. I understand. But, um... I wish I was too good for coal. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just... It hurts me a little inside to see stuff like that left behind. Big one block deep on any of my builds. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> we all know. It is centered, right? That is centered. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. I'm finding all the fancy stone but the diorite that I've been using. That's okay. I use far more andersite in builds than I do anything else. And I use a fair amount of granite, too. But first, we're going to dig up some of that coal. Because it's here. I actually considered for a moment making the chamber walls out of iron blocks just because. Interesting. So much to practice the art of sleep. 
what is the sleep of which you speak? I heard that coffee was sleep in a cup. I've heard that before, but I found it to be a lie. I thought the cake was a lie. Two. Thinking, thinking. Ooh, too far. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go on a lighting spree. I hear somebody in a cave nearby. started to. Everyone just wanted me dead. Yeah. If we don't get to it between now and next week, that might be what we do next week, just because that that is part of the village project. Oh, yeah. No! No? No, you don't want to light up all the caves? You don't want to light up all the caves. It's just people trying to kill me. Well, that's why I said as a group, we go do it together. usually safer to go together. I mean, it's dangerous to go alone. That much I know. It wasn't safer that moment. Let's go to options. Let's go to music and sounds. Turn the subtitles on. Alright. So the zombies gotta be somewhere over this way. It's getting to be a bit much. I think I know where he's at. I was kind of hoping it was going to be right behind that wall, but apparently it's not. We'll dive down that rabbit hole later. Oh, I guess with the size of the cave, it would probably be a dire rabbit hole, but you know. Potato, potato. Hmm. I wonder if Moyang could be convinced to add a dire rabbit to the game. Did they have that killer rabbit at one point? Yeah, they had the killer rabbit, and I think I think it it still exists in the code. It just doesn't spawn naturally anymore. It used to have like a less than one percent chance to spawn anyway, but yeah, anything that hits you for like nine hearts, uh, <laughs> that's painful. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, he's so cute little. Oh, a cute oh my. Little bunny. <laughs> yeah.
words no, on thank it. No, thank you. Holy hand grenades on it. Yeah, the, uh, and the Illusioner, the code for the Illusioner has been sitting in the game forever. And apparently, they're finally going to start, uh, start putting the Illusioner in the game. <laughs> uh, normally I'd be right with you on that one. I, uh, I, I think this is actually gonna, actually gonna happen because the person who, the person who brought that brought it up at Minecon, is the person who implements that sort of thing. Hmm. Yeah. So it was one of those. If it had been anybody else, I'd have my doubts. But uh, since it is the person who actually, you know has to make this happen. <laughs> I'll uh I'll go ahead and call it call it good enough to take to the bank. Better his team's gonna flog him, one of the two. said that if you do a half slab on that third one it'll help them filter in Ooh, and I forgot I'll need a floor one two three yeah uh, don't want to do the floor on this level or that level hmm Yeah, let me go down one more. Because no matter what, it is between... four and ten seconds between attempts to spawn a bunch of zombies out of the, out of the spawner. I'm not 100% sure on those numbers, so don't don't quote me on those. And dropping it down just a little bit more shouldn't cause any problems with getting them out of the way. And in the comments to the video, I saw an interesting solution to a problem that a lot of these designs have with uh, mobs getting stuck in a particular place. Arcadia solved it by putting a an iron golem behind the elevator, so the uh, the zombies would aggro towards the uh, the iron golem. That seems to be working pretty well. But for the sake of being different, I know shocked everybody. I'm gonna try something well different. Textures are on the uh, short list of <laughs> things in need of a little love. But I, I'm honestly not sure... Not sure what you could do that would make it that much better. Which one? Diorite. Yeah, no, no idea. But does everyone really hate it, or... Or 
or is it there so that everyone has something to hate? Uh, it's it's the one that everybody loves to hate. Because mm -hmm. if we didn't have it, what would we hate more? Granite. No. See, I honestly, all things being considered, I don't think the diorite is that bad. I really don't. It's just not something that you're going to use for a solid palette like I'm doing right now. Um, it's an excellent accent or highlight for various and sundry other things. That's what I forgot to do. Leave myself an escape route. Uh, this should be a way out. You know, they just want to check on the progress. I think I finally like my progress, so they could uh, they could stop checking anytime now. progress checks? No, I'm good. Thanks. You, you don't need the status updates? We got another pillager head for the wall, though. Hey. Nice. Add it up there where it goes. <laughs> minecart rolls? What minecart do we have rolling? We don't have any farms going here. any farms yet. Oof. That's a long way down. Oh. Oh. oh, who started the raid? Oh, Not me. Dang it. No, that was me. That was, I was going for oak. Didn't we just talk about this? Mm-hmm. I need more arrows. Here, come to me. I got some arrows. use those instead of my other ones it just automatically uses them whichever one's first in inventory back side of the uh the big house okay. just wanted oak one right there at the base of the house. Hang on. 
I'm coming. I gotta find my way out of this hole in the ground anyway. You're one of the axe guys. Leave me alone. <laughs> New contestant. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Wave two. Go. Uh, this is three. They're over here. By the um, new house. New house, gotcha. They have a beast with them. Careful. Ow. Big bum. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm trying to kill him, but you keep chasing him away. Like, you keep drawing him away from where I'm at. Well, you would too if you only had two life. <laughs> that guy hits hard. Again? Mm hmm Again. That was, what was that, three or four? Three. Three. I think three. Okay. We got witches on this one. Which old witch? Yeah. But no uh, illager, so we're gonna have at least one more. People. Can I just say that I'm happy PvP's turned off? Yeah, no, you'd be dead. <laughs> I'm not sure how many times I misfired at you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the statement. Hey, while you're here, what do you think of the market so far? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I think we have other pressing concerns to address at the moment. Well, obviously, it's not very pressing. <laughs> oh, oh, nope, nope. Backside. Mean man, mean man, mean man. Ooh. Oh, oh. Hi. I would prefer. Oh, they got me. Yeah, I know. Okay. Life. I'm going to dive in the water for a minute and eat. Oh. Not good. Not good. Where's my gravestone. Ah, over there. I, I lured the pillager beast into the water, so he's out of our hair for at least a couple of minutes. I'll let oh. him get dressed, man. Come on. Pillager <laughs> Beast is coming up behind you. Yeah, I know. I got I got none of my stuff. Well, I got all my stuff. I just don't have uh, any good oh. stuff. Oh, an Illager is with him. Okay, so... They seem confused about where to go. They can be as confused as they want to be. It's actually kind of neat watching the glowing blob. Oh. Uh-uh. You go. Stop that. Stop it. <laughs> oh, I could really use that totem. I'm, I'm just saying. On the floor? Yeah, I know. I can't. Nope. 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 I don't even know where my carrots are. Uh, oh, they're there. Ooh. Bex, too dead. 
Hello, Lonely Heart. <sighs> well, hey, let's go hang up all the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's go hang out by our seven guys. Oh, hang up all the, the banners we earned. <laughs> no, I was I was thinking more of the, uh, the seven guys who are going to be more than happy to give us stuff at the moment. I have four banners and a pillager head. <laughs> Yeah, we need to go put I want stuff the away from first the and have in our boxes. <laughs> but I need Can to, someone uh, grab my... the two saddles by where we uh, downed the fat guy? He's not, he's not fat. Well, you know what I mean. The pillager beast. The, the full-featured guy was... I think that was everything important. Alright, put all my stuff in there so that I can now go talk to our friends and get gifts. Yes. <laughs> but somebody should probably also sleep. <laughs> they will not give okay. me gifts because they are locked in the uh, carts. Are you sure? I thought they still. I thought they still gave you gifts. Nope, no gifts. Nothing. You ungrateful rats. Nothing. <laughs> we got reduced prices, but. Oh yeah. I wish that affected how much they gave you for stuff instead of just how much they paid yeah, for it. I know. Because I, I would like to get, like, multiple quartz. That would be nice. Yeah. Oh, wait. I don't think we've unlocked them to quartz yet. No, they're throwing stuff at me. I did not not yeah. as fast as they normally would, though. Yeah, I, I did not have redstone in my inventory. Yeah, and now I got some clay. Oh, what the? How did I get back here? I don't know. I mean, it, it, if I had it to do all over again, I'd put them closer to the wall so they could have their stations in front of them. And they wouldn't be, you know, sitting there with their back to us the whole time. Hey, cooked mutton. Anything else? Yeah, an all of a gold axe. Hey, that's worthless. <laughs> You got a gold nugget, is that what I heard? No, you got some clay in your hand, don't you? Oh, I did. That's a lie. I did get a clay. Give me books. He, he won't give he you won't. books. He gives you redstone. It's the librarian that gives you books. And we don't have one yet. Oh, buddy. Give me a bottle of enchanting or something. Come on. Although, although right. we do have this well, one young that where the is heads. professionalist, so if you want to give him a... I put it on the wall. I only had one. Okay. Yeah, the, the only head was my own. I went and picked it up. Hey, a pumpkin Ooh. pie. Nice. I think he sent you some lapis, too. Hey, an iron axe. Oh, it did. There you go, lapis. Nice. Oh, and Clay. I didn't even see him toss me that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's why people were, were so happy with the, this part of the system is uh, you, you can actually set up a raid farm with a bunch of masons around your uh, where you kill them all. So that way uh, you can just stand there and let them throw clay at you. And you don't have to go <laughs> hunting in the swamps for it. You don't have to go trading for it. You just do the raid farm, you get emeralds and totems, and then you stand around and they give you clay. <laughs> That's awesome. I think he just threw you lapis. Yeah. It's hilarious how he only throws it when you have your back to him, like, Ugh. <laughs> take it. <laughs> and more clay. I got 
to cook pork chop. Sorry, cook <laughs> pork chop. <laughs> Much as I'd love to stand around and keep getting uh, gifts. Pelted with things. Pelted. That's a good word for it. <laughs> yeah. It's a word. It works. I really want to get back to finishing this farm. Good. I'll stay in here. Oh, the sacrifices you make. Mm-hmm. I'm just happy they all survived. Did any of the pillagers get close to the building? Or did you just stop them before they had a chance to try to go through the door? No, we stopped them. Uh, they didn't attempt. We, we didn't wait long enough for, to find out how that was going to okay. go. <laughs> just curious for uh, future. Alright. Go... Three, four, five, six. Oh, the whole thing that started this. I still need oak. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that there for the moment. Because they're going to go at least through here. Oh. The whole point of going up there was to get to the stone cutter to make a wall. I'll grab one of the ones I got in my backpack. <laughs> no polished wall. Alright, I hope that will be an acceptable substitute. Well, you guys are here. How is the house looking? I would love to tell you, but I'm not there right now. Pushes them this way. And that should go back one. And the wall lifts them up just enough to push them into the elevator so they don't accumulate here. Because basically, uh, normally with a lot of the designs in this place, you'll just have a pressure plate. To, you'll have it even with the soul sand, this little pathway. And you'll just have a pressure plate over here to keep the water from flowing funky with the elevator nearby. Um, but this supposedly stops them from accumulating in weird places. It stops the, uh, the guys from loitering before they head up to the elevator. I don't have on me. <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, actually, how oh, good's my flying? Oop. 
that works. Um, at least unload a little bit of that. I am going to need signs. And the rest of that should be should be good. Yeah. source there and a water source there. Those should flow everything down. No, let me put those there for the moment. I can make sure I got this right. Yeah. Then we'll knock those three out. Now we'll push things here. Let me go down that one. There's going to be a sign there, and a sign there, and then up the elevator they go. That can get swapped out for that. Up we go. Now turn those ice blocks into water. Since we got plenty of ice. And it's a little less hassle than doing the kelp trick. Though the kelp trick is useful for a lot of the early game versions of uh, these sorts of things. Especially considering that I want to bring them up another 23 blocks from the surface, so I hope this isn't enough to um, to convert them into zombies. Or to convert them into drowned. Because I don't think the drowned drop iron like zombies do. Or potatoes, or carrots. Although, again... This isn't really about the drops, this is about the XP. And to the best of my knowledge, the XP for a regular zombie and a drown are the same. To the best of my knowledge. As far as I know, all overworld mobs are worth 5 XP plus an additional 1 XP per piece of equipment they're holding. 
which is why skeleton farms are better because they always have a bow. Yeah, they're yeah. always they're always holding at least a bow. Yeah. Although that is overland. These guys are not overland. They are aquatic. I have no idea about that part. So. Alright, so. Other than the fact that you know, you're not going to get tridents from them, which is the only real reason to make one of those. Alright, I'm not going to do diorite tower past the surface. Base. The final frontier. Uh, one thing I'm always running short on. Time. Time? The one thing you're always running short on. Oh, okay. make sure. <laughs> that, that's fair. <laughs> that's more fair than I want to admit. Makes you feel better. I'm having to go all the way out to the fish farm to get red dye. Why are you Why? having to go out to the... Why? There's because red flowers, flowers all around here. A little bone meal and... Et voila. Also, I have some in my box that you gave me. Red flowers? Red dye. I you used all the dye I gave you. No. Oh boy. Then I wouldn't have any dye. <laughs> 23, and it's going to land. Yeah. Five. them as they uh, fell to their death. Maybe I'll uh, build a lighthouse around this with a nice red stripe. That's the correct color for such a lighthouse. Yeah. It's like that famous one. Wasn't it? Where was that? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are there faces I mean, happening? There are faces happening. I mean, I say I'm sorry, but I'm not really sorry. That's good. Awesome. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't measure this out, though. All right. <laughs> what we have here is a failure to deploy. All right. So. I should eat. I keep running into things. Yeah. I hear that helps. In real life, too. Some days. Alright, so this is going to be the AFK spot. I have them staying there. We can still hit them. Oh. Why not bring them right up here? Uh, 
this is going to be the wall. This is going to be the hoppers. So that's going to be the back of where they drop. Yeah. That's going to... Well, no, that's going to be... That is still going to be the back of where they drop. Actually, let me work that out right now, because that, that, that's slightly important. Created somewhere. Ah, uh, yes, a whole bunch. Really? Yeah. Do you want me to go get them? Uh, yes, please. Okay. We need more rockets anyway. No, just go get them out of my ender chest. Thank you. Is there a bucket of steam in there? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't been over here in forever. Do you need more scaffolding too while I'm over here? Um, not at the moment, no. Alright, so we're gonna have these guys going into here. This will go up, and I'll build the storage system off that way. It's sleepy time. Down, no, no, no. Do you need any droppers or dispensers? Mm, no. Go fish. San Francisco, or something like that. Oh, oh, oh. The zombies. Go away. I'm farming you later. Yeah. We still got some lighting to work on. fire. I swear that feels like that scene out of Thor when he's sitting there waiting for his hammer to return. And waiting. And waiting. Sorry. taunt me another time? Well, I do demand a shrubbery. Filling up my 
inventory with all that useless junk. Where was that last hopper? There's the hopper. Oh, that's gonna go up. That's going to bring all the drops in that direction because we're going to need those guys there. I saw your health. You appear to be down oh, a couple yeah. hearts. Yeah, I keep working in high places. Where are you? Ah. I am over where I'm creating the farm. Here. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that'll work. So all that's going to go into that dropper there. Those are from my less successful attempts at doing redstone. No. Oh. <laughs> it's probably better that you have it. <laughs> that bad? We only need well, it wasn't four. good. Well, I mean... How bad could it have been? Never mind, don't answer that. It was bad. It was really bad. Those brought that for kicks. Uh, I'm going to need some rail. I'm pretty sure we've got some over here from one of the. Oh, we got tons of rail over here. This last one on the end. Oh, there we go. Good. I just need a couple. Where did Arcadius run off to? I don't know. Arcadius? Oh, Jed. Swing out. To Swing out of what? fish farm. Oh. Are you still there, though? Yeah. Fixing stuff? Yep. Uh, Did you install a bathroom over there? Good. That's a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> the villagers would appreciate it. Nah. Nope. Oh, actually. Or those three. window, so a window's gonna go across there, I trapped a, oh, no, 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 dang it, getting out of myself. Yeah, I'm trying to do this part from memory. Always an interesting prospect. Earlier. 
Arcadius, when you head back over here, I need thoughts on my building. Thoughts? Yeah. Like deep thoughts with Jack Andy? I, I was just thinking more aesthetic thoughts of how does it look? Uh. It looks very slimming. Thank you. Oh, you didn't want safe thoughts. No, I wanted to know. Like, helpful ones. I don't know how to do helpful ones. He doesn't always live dangerously. <laughs> but when he does, Cadius goes for the popcorn. Bam. And there's that. Okay. So the idea is these guys are going to drop down this central hole here. We're giving them a three wide space with ladders on the left and right side spaces. Um, the ladders will prevent them from um, counting toward, towards the, the cramming cap. So, but it only works as long as their hitbox is right up along in, inside the hitbox of the ladder. That's why we're doing the hopper minecart over the hoppers. Um, because if we used soul sand or some other almost high enough block, they would no longer be in the hitbox for this ladder. And like when we've tried it before with um, just dropping a ladder in the back here behind it, they land on top of the hitbox of the ladder and don't fall all the way down. So by setting it up like this, we can stand here, swing with a sweeping edge sword, and that will hit all three spaces. And we can get our pound of flesh. Give it to the cleric for a very nice price. Put glass across there so we can see what's going on. And we're going to sleep earlier this time so we're not beset by mobs. Delight to know where that minecart is rolling from. And this, maybe this is why Pixelverse always runs with the uh, <laughs> subtitles on. I tried it before and I found it kind of annoying. On the other hand, I do see some stuff that you wouldn't have otherwise heard. Alright, uh, let's drop that in there for now. I need those in a minute. So. A drop of 23 blocks. I don't know if that's actually at the right height or not. Um, we'll go. I just grabbed a stack of 23, 
pillar up and this is actually where the top of my drop should be. So a fall from there is 23. Means I actually made that slightly too big. Good. Because that's going to bubble up. And this is going to push them over here. I'll decorate this better later. Or maybe I will just leave it, you know, glass. time. Yeah, I'm going to use a little bit of this. <laughs> That's okay. So this 23 block drop should soften up most of them. Some of the armor wearing ones might uh, might not take as much damage as we would like. But they should all live enough that we at least get the XP for them. And it's not going to take us 82 swings to kill them. That's the drop, right? Yep, yeah, that's the drop. Right. That is weird with the borderless glass. sign floating there but that is going to keep this water here from flowing down the hole so it's going to push them all the way up till we get to the hole <laughs> yeah not quite yet trying to get a uh, mob dropper going Go. 
awesome. And there that goes. Awesome. And now we should be able to close that off. trapdoors I've had in my inventory. Uh, not too long today. About two hours. I'm probably going to call it quits here very shortly. Because I do have work tomorrow. So there's our kill chamber already. There's our 23 block drop. Our elevator going up. I think we might be ready to close this off and call it done. Gonna need a little bit of the diorite to fill in a gap or two. Alright. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little tired at this point. to the other side. There we go. So, before I knock these out, this should... Here, let me take the uh, Depth Strider boots off for a second. Here, Kitties, is there going to be an actual um, should like Smith shop way. and stuff like that over here? Yeah, the, the road going off to the left, if you ever back to the front gate, is the like, the bizarre road. I was going to do the road off to the right, and the one going yeah, into goes. the main city up until you start building buildings towards me. Um, the actual shop shops, like a smithing workshop, um, probably a butcher with uh, the sheep and stuff in the backyard, something like that. I haven't and really... a candlestick maker? Well, I don't know that we need one of those, but uh, if you're telling me I need to make one. Taking care of just a little bit of maintenance here for a second. Alright, that's working alright. Oh, does that only show? Right, taking care of just a little bit of maintenance here for a second. Alright, that's working. There we go. because I didn't have the dashboard up while that was going on. All right, either way, taken care of. All right, Ooh, time to sleep.
Alright. Let's try that again. Okay. It should... Alright. So we ran through that real quick. Everything does seem to be moving like it should. Let's go back in and close it up. We'll stand by the AFK spot for just a minute. Uh, we we don't have a collection system yet. That I will probably put together. I might be able to whip something together real quick. I'm trying to keep an eye on time because this uh, this already took a little bit longer than I was expecting. sealed up. You can already hear the zombies going. Let's run back up to the surface and check and see if they keep a phone. If I can whip up a storage system in the next <laughs> in the next half hour then uh then I, I'll I'll do it on stream. If not I'll probably do it off camera between now and then. Check one last thing real quick. figure out a better way to manage chat too. I like the restream condensed chat, but some of the moderation stuff is not as uh, well organized as I'd like. All right, so. Let's see what shows up. Oh, wow, already here. Oh, <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, okay. I am going to need, ooh. Did I make the drop too high? I think I made the drop too high. tower are essentially going to be burning. Alright, I'll make, I'll do something prettier with that in a little bit. I just need to make sure they actually survive the drop. Alright, so we're at our AFK spot. We are close enough that they should. I hear tripwire clicks. So we should start seeing them pop up. That's why I got the window in the back there. There we go. And they are an easy hit. Oh, since we're here. Hades, where do you want the stables to be? Yeah. 
uh, Arcadius was feeding Jobo. Oh. It's hard for him to have wishes on that subject, then. Mm-hmm. It is. Alright, um... Good. So that works. I just gotta cover... I gotta cover the tower. I can't leave without a glass tower. <laughs> Otherwise, the zombies will burn. Alright, so what do I want to do is... I need to get this... I should have some soul sand in one of my redstone boxes, right? Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another water elevator up this way. Which will bring it over just a little bit. Um, do we have an overabundance of boxes over there or do I need to craft those up? Either way, it doesn't matter. I just need to know. We do not have an overabundance boxes over here. Okay. There can uh, be an overabundance boxes over here, but we do not thus far. Yeah. I can take care of that. Started wondering why I didn't bring any lumber with me, and then I remembered it's because we had all that oak that's just sitting there. Yeah. Alright, so. Now for the fun question. How many boxes do I make? Uh, let's go... One double chest. Two double chest. Ah, you know what? Let's make a bunch. It's not like we're not going to need them sooner or later. Truth. I'm going to have the elevator moving up that way. And then we're going to go zombie flesh, zombie flesh, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. two more signs over there? Mm, not off the top of my head. frames. Yeah, I'll need those too in a little bit. But it was more the, uh... Ooh, I'm gonna need some more hoppers. Wait. Did I really use all those boxes? Mm, four, six, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Yeah, I did use all those boxes. Huh. How many more boxes do you need? Twelve. Somewhere in that ballpark. No way. Okay. You ready for this? What? <laughs> nice. Very nice. 
because I need more uh, more hoppers. looking Java. I mean, it is his second favorite time of day. Alright. This is the row that the filter is going to be on. So that goes in that way, that goes in that way. This one can actually go down that way. I can also go down that way, because we're not filtering those two. We're only filtering those two. Uh, Be very careful. There's a skeleton under the tree behind you. the tree behind me? Oh. Under the big oak tree. Yeah. It's already looking a little bit That's skeleton. Ended, but... Exactly. Yeah. Alright, that'll go up and go that way. I guess. Interesting. Not all of them are surviving the drop. Huh. Alright, so I need... I need to pulse this. signal off of here. Do some redstone dust. surviving the drop either. I may end up having to uh, reduce the drop by one or two. Because I mean, the whole purpose is not the uh, mob drops, but... Uh... I kind of thought them dying was part of the problem, or part of the point. Yes, but we wanted the experience for it. It's all about the experience. Do you have to have double gates to have horses go through? Uh, yes. They ha the gates have to be too wide. Oh. 
think I might have to acknowledge that it is uh, far enough along that I'm too tired to remember how to do something very, very stupidly simple. stubborn to give up just just yet. Bless you. I can already hear the comment. I absolutely said nothing. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. out here. Oops, it's that dust. Which power is that? Or is it another? There we go. It was a block that updated that. Now I just needed something that would cause this to pulse. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the entity cramming. <laughs> uh, since that bed is enough to uh, make the beds be a thing, can I go ahead and lay the rest of the beds down? Yeah, because it's not so much that as it is, um, oh, jeez, um, sorry, I am running out of space. Um, no, it's, just, it's the profession block, it's not the beds. That's the problem. What am I forgetting? something else I needed to do. To cause that to pulse. Or was it back to you? That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. someone recently bring me a box of beds? Uh, Arcadius did. 
Yes, but I cannot find them. The first shulker box, if you're looking at the line from your first house. Right, um, where do I have one of those? Handy. That I can, oh, uh. Because I built one over at the Guardian Farm. I built one at the different trash sites. Uh, actually, uh, let me grab two observers and a sticky piston. Let's see if I can do it a different way. I've built so many of these things. It is ridiculous. I should not be having this much trouble. Um, no, that's not the way I want them facing. in the other way. Yeah, yeah, I know we got the redstone rotation wrench, but I'm a little too preoccupied to pull that out. There we go. That'll work. That will work. Sources all the way up. And all we need now is the filtration. I'm going to cut down on the numbers before we get overwhelmed with XP. flesh for the uh, for the filtration system <laughs> can you re-dye that um, no. I believe so mm -mm. you can't re-dye bed unless it's white hmm. all right 
yet. <laughs> oh yeah, I got plenty of extras. So I'm going to need two redstone repeaters. I'm going to need two redstone comparators. Right, these other repeaters can go there. Uh, you know what? I'll just make a bunch more. Yeah, I got plenty of stone. I just need sticks. Torches. Oh, I'm missing quartz. Two more comparators. Two more of those. And I'm going to need two more torches. And some dust. And some blocks. There we go. Alright. Light the house. It's looking good. Thank you. That's gonna be my filter, so... Two hoppers right there. I don't feel like I've done this wrong. Then we just gotta figure out what kind of house is gonna go here. Yeah, because I did this wrong. enough by now. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to need... We've still got that anvil over in town, right? We do. Yes. Get your XP.
Oh, is the XP flowing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I could use some of that. Where does the XP floweth? From killing the zombies as they spawn. Just stand on the uh, polished diorite. They'll get there. They're going up. And then they'll fall back down and they'll be one hit. You don't have to keep whacking at them. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, my poor Elytra. See the chimney from here. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna have to pull that road out some, or do you like the way I have the road coming down that hill there? Mm, I don't know. It kind of depends on what ends, happens with all the other buildings. Okay, right. it'll take a little while to figure out if I get it all worked out correctly. But these first, as you come in, the first two on your right should be nothing but zombie flesh. The first two columns on your right. And then the other two columns will be the other stuff. And they'll fill up from right to left. Uh, all right, I'll clean up this hot mess a little bit later. Happy that this is done. We never got to back to working on the wall again, but now I know about how far out I need to push it because I wasn't sure where this was going to end up uh, turning up. And it looks like our, our XP problem should be uh, <laughs> pretty well handled so we won't have to keep running back to get this. I am going to decorate a little bit better. I like the idea of the glass tube because it allowed you to, uh, to see them come up and drop. But I forgot that it was going to cause them to uh, burn and die before they hit the ground. <laughs> so I'm going to have to put a proper roof on that. And then set up something else. Oh no, no, no. You don't have to do that on each of the boxes. I'm going to put a row across the top. Just le leave me four of those. So, with this lovely backdrop, <laughs> this is where we're going to say thank you, have fun, uh, let me get to the right, there we go, and now I switch over to this view and say I hope you had fun, ran a little bit longer than usual, was a little, a little bit more quiet and involved than uh, normal, because, uh, <laughs> yeah, focus, it's a thing. And what you're not seeing because I switched the camera view is actually, you know what, let me just go ahead and, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the credit view. Thank you. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I will upload the, uh, archive of the video to the YouTube channel. Link is below. If you're watching this on Twitch and Mixer, I will also be linking to the uh, videos from Nembom and Il Mango that I used in putting this thing together. And, and uh, we do this every Tuesday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, I also do Games Revisited. And right now for Season 1 of Games Revisited, we're going through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. The 2003 game, not the MMO that started well, but... Um, <sighs> got switched over to the other team uh, 
And uh, with all that said and done, uh, I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting, but uh, I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, and it is now 8.40. i got to get ready to uh, do the 4 a.m. thing again tomorrow. Ah, life. Have fun. Enjoy. See you next time.